cannot keep on track. This is like, I swear to God, the 12th time I've tried to make this video and I just keep going off on these stupid tangents. Um, so I'm going to try to get to the point. There's two videos that I want to make. Um, the one I'm going to talk about right now and then there's going to be another video that I'm going to try to film in the next few days. Um, the one I want to talk about right now is things I miss about being manic. Because there are certain things that I kind of miss, you know. <sighs> there's a certain, there's different levels of mania. Everybody knows this. But there's like, there's a certain like niche of it that's kind of enjoyable. Like for me personally, there's different variations. Um, normally the enjoyable mania doesn't really last very long. <laughs> Usually it goes right into like hallucinations and like the voices and the tactile hallucinations and like seeing things out of the corner of your eye or seeing things straight on, you know, like what, like all of that. And that's no fun. Um, I'm talking about like, like the beginning stages, like the honeymoon mania. <laughs> I'm going to call it that. The honeymoon mania, you know, where you're staying up late. You know, and I, and that is such a misnomer. I shouldn't say staying up late because it's not like, because I, I must sound like such a mom when somebody talks to me and I know that they have bipolar schizoaffective. Um, and the first thing they say is, oh, you know, I really haven't been doing very good. And like, like the mom in me is like, oh, are you sleeping okay? <laughs> you know, like, that's just like my go-to, like, that's the first thing I say. Like, oh, are you sleeping okay? Because to me, sleep is like the number one indicator of something is not right. Either you're sleeping too much or you're not sleeping enough. And then from there, you can kind of like extrapolate <laughs> what is going on. So if I'm like in the honeymoon stage of mania where I'm sort of still sleeping, but like just a couple hours a night, you know, I'm still getting a little bit of sleep at least. And I'm up at like 3 a.m. and I'm doing laundry and I'm writing poetry and I'm writing my book that's never going to get published. <laughs> you know, that's like the stage of mania that I really like. I don't spend very much time in that area. Um, usually that's only like a day or two and then it immediately goes into like <sighs> spending $2,500 on perfume, like perfume. Like I use like unscented body wash. I don't like, <laughs> like smells, you know, I just don't, I don't like if, <clears throat> like if somebody walks by me and they're wearing like a strong perfume, I can be like, Oh, that's not, that smells nice. You know, but it's not like I want to put it on myself and smell it all day long. No, thank you. Um, that's just not for me. <sighs> but there, there is like a certain aspect of mania that's kind of like like I I miss I miss getting stuff done at 3 a.m. like that was my time that's that's me time like normally I the reason I do so many videos in my car um that is the only time during the day that I get to myself um right now is a very, very unusual instance I mean it's this does not happen all the time once a month, maybe, <laughs> you know, when nobody else is in the house. The only other things in the house are my dog and my cat, you know. So this is very rare. This, so nobody's in the house right now. It's very weird. <laughs> it's really weird. So I always viewed, like, the 3 a.m. thing as, like, that was my time. That was me time. And then I started taking Seroquel, and that really took it away. Like, it was... It was more like, I don't know, I guess I was annoyed, you know, because like I couldn't get stuff done anymore and I was like manic for so long or like I, not necessarily like manic, but I was used to, even if I would get depressed, I could always like look forward to that period of time when I could get stuff done, you know, I mean, yes, I was equally depressed and, you know, like I, I'd, I'd swing wildly back and forth. <laughs> I'm sure my husband hated it. <laughs> I've been with him for 20 years and I've only been medicated for six of those years. So <laughs> I talk about it to him. I made this joke one time, like, uh, 
six months ago, like a year ago, like we were hanging out with our friends and I am really open about like my diagnosis. I'm really open about the medications I take, you know, and uh, I made the joke once that, um, cause I, I'm in, I, me and Sarah will have a love hate relationship. I hate it because it, um, makes me really fat. Um, I've gained like 40 pounds just because I'm on this medication. Like I have not really changed that much. I mean, I've been, I've been dieting more in the recent months, but in general, I haven't changed very much and I've gained 40 pounds and it's just really annoying. So we were out with our friends and I'm like, I don't even know how the topic got brought up, but it wasn't like irrelevant. It's not like I just like interjected this, like, we're talking about Seroquel out of nowhere. We were talking about, like, certain, like, psych meds, you know, specifically. And I said something about Seroquel, and I said, yeah, I'm, I, I've gained a lot of weight since starting Seroquel, and I'm thinking about, um, and I was just joking, and I was like, and I'm thinking about, you know, talking to my doctor to try to stop it, you know, and this was even before I did try to stop it with Abilify, which was a disaster, but, um, and I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to stop Seroquel because I'm really tired of the weight gain. And my husband turns to me and he's like, oh, you lose a lot of weight. All right. You lose about 250 pounds when I walk out that door <laughs> if you stop Seroquel. So he does not um, look fondly. He doesn't look as fondly on those years as I do. Like I see them as a time of like creativity and growth. And like I was more me than I am now. There's a lot that has been taken away from me because I take medication. Am I resentful of it? No, not usually. Sometimes I am, but not usually. You know, sometimes it just gets annoying. Sometimes I'm like, you know, I'd really like to have that me time back. I'd really like to have that energy back. I don't have that energy anymore. I get hypomanic. Like, I think I'm like hypomanic right now. You know, I mean, I get hypomanic, obviously, but I don't get that freedom, you know, like it's not, it's, it's different. It's just different now. I don't, and even if you looked back at all of my YouTube videos, <laughs> all of them across all of the channels that I ever started, if you watched all of my videos, you've never really seen me manic. Like, that I, I didn't start this channel until I started Seroquel, you know, and starting this channel was kind of like my way of like dealing with my, I mean, I was technically diagnosed when I was 19. It, it's a long story, but I didn't start taking medications until I was about like 31 or 32, you know, maybe 30. I, I, my daughter was only like a couple months old when I realized there was like a serious issue. <sighs> And, um, I started this channel when my daughter was like six, seven months old, you know, she's seven years old now. So like this channel or not, there's not my YouTube channels. Cause I think this is like technically my third channel that I've had, but, um, my, my YouTube channels have never really seen me manic. They've seen me hypomanic right now. <laughs> right now a little bit um but they've never really seen me like full-on hallucinating you know I still get hallucinations from time to time like like a week ago it was pretty bad it was only at night and it did go away it was just for a couple days but it's still it was really scary because it was like oh god this we're starting this again great <laughs> you know this is not what I wanted to deal with right now like these last couple weeks for me um because of my dad passing away, um, these last couple of weeks have really been rough on my sanity. Um, I've really gone up and down so much more than I have in years. I mean, I've been more unstable now than I have been in years. Um, and that's really scary. Um, at the same time, this isn't my first rodeo. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I know that, you know, if it gets really bad, if my sleep gets really bad, which it's not, um, you know, I am the mom. <laughs> and people, people say like, oh, I'm having, you know, a really hard time. Oh, are you sleeping? Okay. How are you doing? How's your sleep? You know, like I'm so fixated on sleep because I know that that is like, that's the jumping off point. 
either way. If you're not getting enough sleep, then that's not good for one reason. And if you're getting too much sleep, that's not good for another reason. I mean, it's, everything revolves around sleep. My life revolves around getting good sleep. It has to. <laughs> if it doesn't, my world falls apart. <laughs> you know, my life revolves around Seroquel, if we're being perfectly honest. Um, so yeah, this was just a long rant, ranty ramble um, about um, just how I kind of partially miss being manic. Partially, you know, I mean, uh, like I said, this, this, this channel or any of my other channels, they've never really seen me in that kind of state. So I've, it's been, there's, I could probably go back and find like stages where I was like right there, but I don't know that, that it doesn't even compare <laughs> with, with the way, with my, mm -mm. I just, no, no, I wish that YouTube, I wish I would have discovered YouTube years ago. Well, before even YouTube was a thing, like I kind of wish YouTube was a thing when I was in high school and I could have really worked through a lot of the stuff that I was going through. And I might have realized that, the, hey, there's a community out there of people just like me. And, and it would have really made me feel a lot less alone. Like I didn't, I didn't have anybody. Like there was literally nobody. I didn't even know the word bipolar until I was... 25. I mean, and like I said, I was diagnosed at 19, but they called it manic depression. You know, I didn't know, I didn't even know what that meant. You know, and I know what it means now, but I mean, at the time it was just like, well, yeah, duh, I'm really depressed. But is, is that what that means? Like manic depression just means really, really manic or really, really depressed, you know, like really, really whatever. I had no idea what it meant. Um, there was, there's probably a lot of my life that would have changed if I would have taken that seriously on 19 instead of, you know, what I did burning the, uh, burning the business card on my way back to my dorm that I wish I wouldn't have done that. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, my feet are falling asleep, so I need to stand up. Um, but anyway, as a side note, if anybody's still here, um, I did dye my hair. <laughs> I said I was going to dye my hair red, and I had an old box of hair dye that I used, and it was apparently a really old box because it's not very red. I need to go get um, new hair dye. I need to get, like, something that's actually red. Maybe something that's new. Is this, I only dye my hair when I get, like, hypomanic -y. So, um... <laughs> Like at this, and it's not really that often that I get like sustained hypomania. Usually it's just like a day or two. And then by the end of the second day, like, it's like, eh, I don't want to, I don't want to dye my hair anymore. You know, I'm fine. But now I'm like, no, I really want to dye my hair. I, I kind of want to go to Target right now. I won't, <laughs> but I want to because I want, I, I want the red hair that I've, I've dyed my hair red before. Like, and this isn't the color that I was going for. I've, dyed, I've used the exact same dye, the exact same brand, the exact same, like, number. Oh my god, oh my god. My foot it fell asleep like crazy. <laughs> um, I've used, like, the exact same brand for 15 years, and I've never had this poor of a result. So I need to go. I don't know if I should go this weekend. I don't want to fry my hair at the same time. I don't, I don't think that that's a good idea. <laughs> I, there was a time in my life when, yeah, probably if you go back to the, like the earliest videos of this particular channel, you'll see like underneath my hair, there's like blonde because I took like the under part of my hair and I bleached it. Um, like I said, and that was like a couple of years ago. I only get like this, and I think it's just like, like I, said, I only get like this sustained kind of hypomania, like every couple of years. Um, and I think it's only like this just because of everything that's happened in the last few weeks and, and my feet really hurt. <laughs> like, you know, when there's, when, when your limbs fall asleep and then they go through like that wake up, that wake up stage where it just hurts to move. That's right about where I'm at. <laughs> I couldn't even stand up right now if I wanted to, I'd look like a dummy. But, um, anyway, so... This was about nothing. Um, the next video that I want to make, though, 
I'm sure most people have already clicked off. But the next video I want to make is um, I want to go into, because um, there's a lot of warning signs that I've seen with my daughter. She, like I said, she's seven years old. She's going to be eight in um, two months. There's a lot of warning signs that make me really nervous, to be perfectly frank. Um, there's a lot that, I, there's a lot of myself that I see in her. And um, I kind of wanted to go through the different things that I'm seeing. Maybe if somebody has a young child at home and they um, maybe suspect something, um, obviously take them to a doctor if you are, if, if you are concerned. I am not a, <laughs> a doctor by any means. I'm just a parent. I'm just a concerned parent and a concerned parent who knows bipolar disorder and schizoaffective disorder. I, I, that's all. I'm not a doctor. I just know what to look for to take her to a doctor. And I'm going to take her to a doctor soon. Um, but that is another topic for another video, but that's all. Hopefully next time you see me, I will have redder hair than this garbage. Peace out.